The book I'm reviewing is True, Sort of, by Kathleen Hannigan. I like the way Deli, the main character, makes up her own words like hide oasis and sir present. This book shows you how a friendship forms and how fear is overcome by friendship. I love that Deli, Ferris Boyd, and RB have their own secret place just for them. This book has a lot of emotion, but it is a really good story. I give this book five out of five stars because it shows how Deli helps Ferris Boyd even though she is scared. You should read it. My name is Michael, and I go to Westwood View Elementary, and I read the book Wonderstruck by Brian Seltznick. This book is about an 11-year-old boy named Ben who is deaf. Ben lost his mother in a car accident when he was still a boy. After his mother's death, Ben finds the book Wonderstruck in his mother's room. In the back of this book is a note that his mother had written, which leads him to believe that the father that he had never met might still be alive. Join Ben as he runs away to New York City to find his father. I rate this book five out of five stars for its amazing detail, word choice, and interesting storyline. Read it. Breaking Stalin's Nose is an historical story about the time when Comrade Stalin ruled the Soviet Union. During this time, he believed in communism and the Communist Party. The young character, Sasha, has always wanted to be a young pioneer for his whole life. But after his father was taken away by the Soviet police and he broke Stalin's nose off his statue, he wonders how real communism is to him, and same with Comrade Stalin. I rate this book four to five stars for its intriguing story and historical event. Hello. I'm Dakota, and I will take you into the world of the Summer of Hammers and Angels by Shan Wiersbitsky. Dila was once happy until lightning hit her and Mama. Now she has to fix up the house by herself so she and Mama don't get evicted. When Tommy Parker, who Dila describes as dense as a stump, falls off the roof while trying to help, she is even sadder. She continues working, but the jobs are too big for her. She went to church with the Parkers to pray and ask for help. Are her prayers answered? I know the end and so can you. Check it out. I give this book five out of five stars. Read it. I read the book America's Under Attack by Don Brown. I learned about the people affected by 9-11. If you want a nonfiction book about the attack, then this book is definitely for you. The best part was when the people wanted to give up, but they stood strong and kept trying to get out or help other people along the way. If you want a book with amazing pictures and facts, then you will like this book. It'll help you know what it was like during the time of 9-11. I give this book five out of five stars for the amazing pictures and facts. I didn't want to put the book down. We read Close to Famous by Joan Baer. Twelve-year-old Foster and her mother are trying to make do after Foster's father's helicopter got shot down in Iraq. All Foster has left of him is a pillowcase filled with her father's dog tags from the army, special award he got for getting killed, letters he sent her, cuff links, a little flag from Ireland, and a donkey keyring. When Foster and her mother have to leave Memphis because of an abusive situation involving an Elvis impersonator named Tuck, they find themselves in the tiny town of Culpeper, West Virginia. Soon Foster realizes the pillowcase filled with her dad's memories has been left behind. People quickly warm to Foster's mother with the great singing voice and Foster who can bake like nobody's business. Soon Foster, who dreams of having her own cooking show one day, like her idol Sonny Carole, lands herself a gig in baking for a local coffee shop and gets herself some much needed help from a Hollywood movie star in overcoming her biggest challenge. No, 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 they have to read the book to find out. This book will make you hungry for dessert as Foster describes the big and delicious cupcakes and muffins she creates, like triple chocolate blowout cupcakes and butterscotch muffins. Just as Foster and her mother start to feel at ease, their past catches up to them. Thanks to the people in Culpeper, Foster and her mother try to find the strength to put their troubles behind them for good. We rate this book four out of five stars for its well thought out characters, 
and its vivid descriptions of Foster's baked goods. Read this book! Hi, my name is Jonathan. I attend Brookwood Elementary and I read the book Tuesdays at the Castle by Jessica Day George. The three main characters are Celia, Leela, and Rolf. Tuesdays at the Castle is mysterious and funny. It's mysterious because Celia, Leela, and Rolf's parents go on a trip and they disappear. Rolf, who is next in line to be king, needs his dad, King Glyer, to make it official, so he sends out a bunch of knights to find them. Celia thinks the castle talks to her and that her parents are not dead. Tuesdays at the Castle is funny because the author makes the story hilarious. Watch out for Tuesdays, read Tuesdays at the Castle. I rate this book five out of five stars because it's a book you can't put down even at dinner. Do you like waking up early in the morning to feed chickens? Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm a Tanya. And we, and we read, read the book, book Balloons Over Broadway, Broadway, the true story of the puppeteer of Macy's, Macy's Parade. Parade. Tony Stark was a very adventurous boy who likes to create and invent new things. When Tony Stark was all grown up, marionettes were out of style, but then he brought them back. He moved to New York City, and Macy saw that he put on fun marionette parades, so they asked him can he put one on for Thanksgiving each year. I can imagine myself in the crowd trying to sneak a peek at the amazing brightly colored animals. The parade that Tony created is not only a treat for New Yorkers, but all Americans. When you watch the parade next Thanksgiving morning, you will know the story behind the parade. We rate this book five out of five stars because the pictures are amazing and very detailed. The reader can see how the parade really came about. You will enjoy this picture book biography of Tony Stark. Read it. <laughs>